welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to get this look right here which is one of my favorite looks i've ever done um, i posted this look on my instagram and i asked you guys if you wanted to see a tutorial and you guys said yes so here it is i'm gonna be going into my 35b morphe brushes palette into this lavender shade right here and i'm doing that with this brush i'm going right into my crease So I am bringing this pretty close up to my eyebrow because I'm going to be creating a cut crease and I want that cut crease to show so I have to bring this a little bit higher. With that same brush I'm going to be dipping into this like periwinkle color. I'm going to try to focus it in that same area but a tiny bit lower. And don't worry if it gets a little bit messy underneath because we're going to clean it up with the concealer. Now to clean it up, I'm using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer, and this is NC30. And I'm using this little flat brush right here. I'm going to coat my brush on both sides. So I'm going to be doing one eye at a time because I don't want the concealer to crease. So I'm going to go into my 35B palette again, into this peachy orange shade. And I'm going to do that with this brush right here. I'm going to spray some setting spray first and then dip into the shade. And I'm going to pat on that product. So as I'm doing it, I'm going to be shaping the cut crease. Having the brush wet helps for me to keep that line completely straight. So just really take your time during this step. Okay, to set that concealer in the middle, I'm going to take this tiny eyeliner brush and dip into this white shade right here. Next, I'm going into my Jaclyn and Morphe brushes palette and going into this mustard yellow shade. And pretty much for this whole tutorial, I'm going to be wetting my um, flat brush. So I'm going to be applying this yellow on pretty much like on the inner and outer corners. Just leaving that middle section alone because I'm going to be applying a shimmery shade in the middle. I'm going to apply this to the top as well. From that same palette, I'm picking up this beige color right here and I'm going to be applying it um, in those same areas but just um, not covering as much ground, I guess. So the yellow I went from here to here and with this beige color, I'm just going on the very like outer corner and the very inner corner. Okay, so my camera got too hot so I went ahead and cut this eye up. So next step I'm going to do is go into the Saharan palette by Julia's Place which looks like this and I'm dipping into this shade right here and I'm applying that to the center of my lids to make that pop a little more I'm taking this shade right here and just going on the very tip of my brush and I'm going to apply that to the very center Going back into my Jaclyn and Morphe palette, I'm dipping into this shade right here. And I'm pretty much just using the same brush for the rest of this tutorial. I mean, I've only used like three brushes so far, but this one is the main brush that I've been using. And i um, focusing that on the same areas where I applied that beige color. So for the outer edge, I'm kind of going in this like little C and blending it towards the middle. So I'm going to go a little bit darker and go into this shade right here and just doing the same thing. The last shade I'm doing is black and I'm doing that with a tiny eyeliner brush. 
To help blend out the black, I'm going to be using this tiny tapered brush. Next, I'm going back into my 35B Morphe Brushes palette and going into this bright coral color. And I'm using this little tapered brush again. I'm just gonna go on this part right here to blend out the black and this salmon color. I'm also gonna adjust that color on my bottom lash line as well. Then I'm going into this darker shade And last color I'm going into is black I like the last color I'm going to be using is this color right here from the Saharan palette I'm going to be placing that just in the center Alright, now it's time for the sprinkles and for that I'm using ColourPop Cosmetics Ultra Matte Lipsticks. I just picked out some bright colors um, and they're all very different from one another because you want them to stand out against each other. I'm just going to be starting by opening one of the lipsticks and taking a very thin eyeliner brush and just creating a sprinkle. I don't want them to be in the exact same spot on each eye. I kind of want them to vary, so that's why I put them in two different spots. Um, and then I'm going to clean off my brush and do the same thing with another shade. You gotta be kind of careful too since they are lipsticks. You kind of need to wait till they dry, so I'm just kind of going to be looking down while I do this. So if I put a dark color, I try to put a lighter color next to it so it stands out more. And I'm staying within that yellow zone right there. While I let that dry, I'm going to go back into my Studio Finish Concealer with my little flat brush and I'm going to sharpen this up a little bit. <laughs> to mark my waterline, I'm using my white jumbo stick from NYX. the sprinkles I'm using my white liquid liner from NYX as well I'm gonna take my eyeliner brush again I'm gonna go into my holographic glitter from Lemonhead this is adult film and I'm going to be going in between the sprinkles So sorry, my camera died, but I just charged it. I just put on some mascara and some lashes. I just used the Tarte Tarteist Mascara for my top lashes. And I used the Ultimate All-in-One Mascara for my bottom lashes. And then I applied some falsies, and I think 
these might be from Coco Lashes. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. They're just like in my stack of reusable lashes. And then for the bottom individual lashes, I used from this brand called Andrea Lashes. I'm just gonna be finishing up the face right now. So I'm gonna spray some more of my um, setting spray that I made. And I'm going into the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place, which looks like this. And I'm dipping into this shade right here. For the lips, I'm using this lip liner from NYX, and this is Sand Beige. I used um, a different lipstick in the picture, but I can't find it right now. So I'm going to be using ColourPop Cosmetics Ultra Matte Lipstick, and this is Bianca. On top of that, I'm using ColourPop Cosmetics Ultra Glossy Lip, and this is WeHo. Can't forget to highlight my inner corner. I'm gonna be using that same shade from the Masquerade palette that I used to highlight my face. That completes this look. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this look in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Stay kicked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.